Hey, welcome to the Success Without Social webinar. I am Robin Graham, the host of the webinar. I am a business growth strategist and coach for Christian service-based small business owners and entrepreneurs. Today, we're going to talk about three key things. The real reason you aren't getting the results that you want, why social media is killing your business, and how to change that ASAP, and key long-term strategies that most business owners ignore, but they can really help you achieve a lifetime of limitless earning potential. So let me ask you, have you felt like you were spinning in circles while trying to grow your business? Have you invested in multiple coaches, programs, online courses, only to achieve minimal results, not to reach your goals? I hear this frustration from my clients all the time. In fact, that's the number one complaint I get is that they feel like they're spinning in circles and they're investing with no results. And I want to change that because none of that is necessary. Yes, growing a business can be very challenging, but it doesn't have to feel impossible. And results don't have to feel so elusive. And that's why I created my Purpose to Results Success Without Social Business Growth Program. It is the only one-stop business growth program without an emphasis on social media. And it has demonstrated proven results over and over again. I've spent the past 22 plus years growing businesses of my own and helping others do the same. I've done the research, I've hired the coaches, I've taken the programs. And what it all comes down to is that simplicity wins every single time. You don't have to do all the things to get results and grow your business. And most importantly, I wanna emphasize, you don't have to be on social media to grow your business. Let's talk about the real reason you're not getting the results you want. You're complicating things. Have you seen something online, bought it, tried it, and then waited for the results, but they never came? That's just one of the problems with consuming too much content online grasping for straws, so to speak, and trying to do what the experts are saying to do and buying what they say to buy. Business is not one size fits all. Your business is customized to you. And therefore, any business growth strategies that you employ should be customized to you and your business in order for you to grow it. I just want to emphasize here that consuming creates confusion. Confusion breeds, breeds more confusion. And the problem with confusion is that it reduces confidence. And when you don't have the confidence in yourself and your business, your people, your ideal clients, your soulmate clients aren't going to have the confidence they need to trust you. And that is really key for overall buying practices. A lack of confidence will stimulate a lack of belief in what's possible for you and for your business, as well as for your clients. The more you consume and invest in what doesn't work, the longer it's going to take you to reach success and the more you're going to lack belief in yourself. Your beliefs influence your thoughts. Your thoughts influence your feelings, your emotions, your feelings and emotions influence your choices, your decisions, and the action you take. From the top down, your beliefs influence your outcomes. And this is true whether you are a 50K a year business owner or a million dollar a year business owner. If you've been trying to do everything that you read, that you've consumed online, you will feel like you're spinning in circles. And you'll feel like you're on the clock, in a race against time. What everyone else is doing is not necessarily right for you and your business. Another reason that online courses are complicating your business or having multiple people give you input on your business is complicating it is because there's no accountability. 
all too often, people invest in programs and then they don't finish them or they can't figure out how to implement them in their business because they don't understand the strategy that the course or the program had the intent of. And then there is the lack of accountability. No customization and no accountability is going to mean no results. The key here is to discern. And the key to discerning is to look at what's right for your business, for you, and for you being able to get to know your ideal clients. You have to intimately know your ideal clients in order for you to differentiate yourself and to be able to discern what's going to be right for your business so that you can reach them. What are your soulmate clients' pain points? And I don't mean like evaluating who your ideal client is in terms of what pocketbooks they buy or where they shop or the car they drive or the food they eat or how many kids they have in their, in their family. Yes, some of those things may be important depending on what your business is, but I am referring to specifically what are the pains they're experiencing? What are the solutions that they're seeking? And what can you provide for them that will give them the solutions that they're searching for? You must differentiate yourself. That's just plain and simple. The end all be all is differentiation. Why are you unique? Why should people hire you? What is your why? People want to know your why even more than they want to know the how. That's not to say the how isn't important because it is important. People want to understand how you're going to get the results for them that you say you're going to get them so that they know that you're a good fit for them. But your why is at the core of what you're doing, what you're doing, or why you're doing what you're doing, and ultimately how you're doing what you're doing as well, and why you're able to achieve the results for people that you're able to achieve. All of those things are critical and differentiating factors. Instead of time spending so much time consuming, it's really important to look in on yourself. Don't do everything other people are telling you to do. You start with differentiating yourself, understanding intimately who your soulmate client is and what their needs are. The other very, very, very important thing is that you need to know why they buy. What makes them click the buy button? What inspires them to purchase? You need to know that because that is also going to then be a key component of your messaging when you differentiate yourself. Here's the thing. If you do what everybody else is doing online, if you say what everybody else in your niche is saying, you're going to fall flat. You're not going to be visible. You're not going to stand out as the expert that people should hire. The thing is that you have gifts and talents. You have been on a journey that's led you right to where you are today. And that gives you what people are searching for. People who are or have been on a journey similar to yours. And maybe they're stuck in the rut that you've already dug yourself out of because you have the strategies, the skills, the talents, whatever it takes that you can now help your soulmate clients employ and transform their lives too. Visibility is important, whether you're a low, small business earning potential of, you know, 100K a year, 50K a year, or a million dollars a year. It doesn't matter. You have to have a visibility strategy so that people can find you and not only find you, but clearly understand that you're the person for them. These exercises are at the core of the Purpose to Results Success Without Social program. And the reason being, even if you've done these exercises before, we all change, we all grow, and we all identify differently within our business the longer that we're in it. So if you haven't done these exercises recently and you don't find yourself with an influx of clients on a 
consistent basis, it's time to revisit and do these again, because you might discover that now you're doing things differently, or maybe you learned how to do something better. And all of that needs to be communicated to your audience, because maybe you weren't for them before, but maybe because you've done these new things, you've shifted gears, then now maybe that is what's going to resonate with them and what's going to convert them from being in your community to wanting to have a relationship with you and ultimately wanting to hire you. Okay, so number two, let's talk about why social media is killing your business and how to turn that around ASAP. Social media is very time consuming. Social media influencers or influences, I should say, your beliefs. And we already talked about how your beliefs can alter your outcomes, your results. So if social in Social media is influencing how you believe about yourself, how you think about yourself. It's going to ultimately reflect your results or cause a change in the outcomes and the results that you achieve. Social media costs time, energy, and ultimately money. Social media results in comparison. Comparison leads to doubt, leads to imposter syndrome, all of these lead to procrastination. And if you're in a state of procrastination, feeling like you're spinning out in circles, you're not going to get results. Even if you go on social media for personal reasons, you're going to see business content because the algorithms suggest things for you. So you're still going to be inundated with things that maybe you don't want to see, maybe that aren't aligned with your business and that will distract you and cause more chaos in your thinking. Time and energy are currency. The more time and energy you spend on platforms that you don't own, either creating content or consuming content, the more time you don't have doing impactful things like building relationships with your audience or creating content on platforms that you do own. If social me media is decreasing your level of positive energy and resulting in time being wasted scrolling, and I do encourage you to go on your phones and look at your screen time and look at what it's being spent on. You will be blown away. I, I guarantee it. You will be blown away by your screen time results if you're spending any time consuming or posting on social media. And the key to social media, too, is that you have to be there and be present in order to get results because the algorithms are not going to push your content out if you're not engaging and you're not communicating. They want interaction. The other thing about social media is that it is, they are platforms that are driven by advertiser dollars. You may think it's free marketing, but the reality is anything that you're using where you think it's free, you are the product. People are trying to get to you. They are selling to you. And ultimately, you're buying all of these other things. I think it's something like one in five people buy on um, social media every day because they see these ads. So what does that tell you? That tells you that it's an immense distraction. So again, it's costing. And the same thing is true if you're on there for business or personal because you're being distracted by things you see. Maybe it's an ad for an online course. Maybe it's an ad for a mastermind. Maybe it's an ad for um, a, a book. It could be anything, but it's distracting. It's taking you away from the time that could be spent doing something a lot more efficient for growing your business. The other thing about social media is that it's risky. At any given point in time, the platforms could crash and burn and you lose your followers and you lose your content that you have worked so hard to create. So I encourage you to stop focusing on content for social media and create evergreen content, content that you own and that is housed on platforms that you own, like your website. Social content may be prone to bias as well. So if you're consuming a lot of content on social, you could be convinced of something based on someone else's bias. And I'm talking about like systems, tools, things like that, that people are affiliates for and they're promoting on 
social media and then you buy them, but you've already got systems in place that could be used that do the same exact thing. All of the new technology doesn't necessarily mean that it has better bells and whistles. Do you need more bells and whistles? And do you need to pay for more bells and whistles? The reality is there are a lot of things in your business that you can do for free or very low cost. You can ultimately run your business on one CRM if you have the right CRM. And these are some of the tech and tools and the things that I help you discover within my program because I really believe that simplicity is best and you can do this without spending an arm and a leg to grow your business or to provide the service that your customers are looking for from you. So instead of relying on social media, like I said, create that evergreen content on your website and write persuasive copy. When you focus your efforts on your website and lean into it as the foundation of your business alongside your personal brand, alongside differentiating yourself and how you are unique, you're going to be able to be found anytime, anywhere. And it's not dependent on an algorithm, which is the most beautiful thing. I teach and educate on simplifying SEO. SEO does not have to be hard. It may not be sexy, but it doesn't have to be hard. It can be simplified. And once you learn strategies for SEO, you can write blog posts, you can create content, you can write copy, all of these things. And your website is going to be healthier. It's going to be found more. And you're going to be found more as seen, as visible more as an expert and authority in your space, in your niche. I wanna share some facts about social media versus Google. So what a lot of people don't realize is that when people are gathering information, they'll go to social media. They may also go to Google, but when they're ready to buy, they go to Google. And what's very interesting is that if your business is ranked on Google, people are 92% more likely to click on the top ranking businesses versus any other listing. So there is power in having that SEO on your website and getting yourself found by Google. And again, it all comes down to strategy. And a lot of times we don't know what we don't know. So if you aren't implementing a strategy or if you think a website designer has implemented the strategy for you, a lot of times that is lost, that there really truly isn't an SEO strategy. The basics may be there, but the oomph, the power that needs to be there isn't there. I had a client who paid $10,000 for a website because a celebrity had used them to do her website. Keep in mind that person probably had a team of many people that were also working in the back end of her business, ensuring that she had SEO and everything on her website. Well, my client when we were working together, I said, let's take a look at the back end of your website. I want to see why people aren't finding it because she didn't have clicks to it. People weren't finding it. Guess what? The website designer had not put a single bit of SEO on her website. So if you don't have SEO on your website, you're not going to be found. You're going to literally be spinning in circles, trying to get clients, putting things on your website, putting things on social media, and it's still not going to produce results. So that SEO strategy is really, really key to being visible and to being seen as an authority and an expert in your niche. The other thing about being ranked on Google is that people automatically trust you more. It's just part of it. When you have put in that the intent to be found, people see you as the authority and they trust that your work is um, at a level of expert. Let's talk about a few long-term strategies that most business owners, small business owners, I should say, are ignoring, but they really do have the opportunity to help you create a lifetime of limitless earning potential. And with that, the opportunity to have a lot more impact, especially if you're an impact-driven service-based business. Social media does not equate to digital marketing. And I want to emphasize that because it is not the end all be all for digital marketing. Everybody thinks because it's digital, because it's online, that is digital marketing, but it is not the only component of digital marketing. Content marketing is at its best, 
is evergreen. And I want to give you some statistics here that I think are kind of going to blow your mind a little bit. So when you create content and you put it on TikTok, it's got longevity of five minutes. When you put content on Facebook, 15 minutes. Instagram's a little longer. It could be 24 to 48 hours, but 50% is consumed within 18 hours. So again, a narrow window, typically over 50% of the time, less than 24 hours. LinkedIn has a longer range of 30 hours, which I have to say I like LinkedIn because it's not as distracting. There aren't as many ads and you don't see a, as much selling in post. So it's not as um, tempting. And it's also got search engine capabilities. When you type in someone's name, their, their LinkedIn content will come up. So I like the fact that LinkedIn has a lot more oomph when it comes to search engine optimization or being found online. Pinterest has four months longevity. YouTube is 20 days, but a blog is 1.9 years, 1.9 years. So, and that's one blog. And when you have an SEO strategy, one blog can actually be a lot longer than that because as you create new content, you can also refer people to that former blog. So you actually can get more, a lot more than just 1.9 years. I have blog posts that are over three years old that are still ranked number one on Google. So that tells you that there is a lot of power in having that content optimized and published on your own platform. So many people overlook the power of SEO, but I have to tell you that most successful business owners have built their business based on an SEO strategy, an SEO policy, having SEO that is optimized as well as updated frequently is the key. Email marketing is relationship building. You can grow that community. You can nurture them. They will see you as someone that is providing value on a regular basis. And even though they may not hire you today, you're front of mind, which means that if they have a conversation with someone, they will refer you. And not only that, if they haven't hired you yet, you're still front of mind for them. So when they do need you, you're going to be the first one they think of. Pinterest marketing, I love because Pinterest has always been thought of as a DIY site. Sure, you can go on there and you can find fashion ideas, home decor ideas, travel ideas, all of these things, but it's also a search engine. So people go there asking questions to find information. And the really great thing about Pinterest is it's a great way to drive traffic to your website and it's sustainable. Again, the average lifetime of a post is, and I, I gave the statistic of four months, but I've also seen stats for seven months. So it's long-term strategy. And anytime you can invest in long-term strategy, you're going to be much better off than short-term strategy because you want to have success long-term and you want to be found long-term. You don't want to just put things out there and have it be present for a minute and then poof, it's gone. And then I also want to talk about just briefly some of the other things that we cover in the Purpose to Results program, the Su Success Without Social Mastermind specifically. We do review PR and speaking. We also talk about podcasting. There are so many ways, so many opportunities that you can grow your business and market your business without having to be on social media. So if you don't like social media, I want you to know that growing your business without it is more than possible. And a lot of people are achieving success without it. So if it's bogging you down, if it's affecting your mental health, if it's causing you to experience that feeling of spinning in circles, doing all the things and still not getting results, you don't have to be there. The strategies that I teach within my program are enduring. They're going to get you seen. They're going to help you become more visible as the expert and the authority in your niche that you truly are. The most important thing with that statement is that you believe it. So mindset, strategy, and action 
are all components of my program because if you don't have all three, the results are not going to come. And when I talk about action, that also involves accountability because if you don't have accountability, then oftentimes what happens is you start something and it's hard and it's frustrating and it can feel overwhelming and then you stop because you don't see immediate results. But when you're building a business for long-term success and you're building a foundation that's going to allow that to happen, it can take time. And that accountability is really important. So let me tell you a little bit about the Purpose to Results Mastermind program or the Success Without Social Mastermind program. It is a six-month group program. We will meet once a week for 90 minutes. I will teach, I will give advice and coach around different things that you bring to my attention. And then we will have a Q and A so that you have not only my eyes on your business, but the group size on your business and collectively we'll create strategies that you can then implement week to week to help grow your business. You'll also have a one-to-one monthly session with me. And this is a really great one hour time period where you bring all of your questions anything you're feeling vulnerable about, any struggles, any challenges, and you get my eyes on the content that you create, I'll review on the back end your website, I'll review your blog post for you that you create within the program. We'll also I'll also look at your email nurture sequence. You'll have access to all of my templates as well, including pitches for PR, including um, my nurture sequences, any templates that I have. I'll be hosting guest experts each month. These will be in place, not in place of our actual meeting time, but in addition to, not to cause you to feel like you're spending so much time on this, but to give you additional opportunities to learn. And these will be experts in areas like copywriting, persuasive copy, um, creating on-brand graphics to help you stand out when you're using graphics, for example, as a featured image on your website or for Pinterest or for LinkedIn, or even within your email marketing campaigns, or should you choose to be on social media for that as well? And more. I'll be hosting those experts, like I said, and it will be a great way for you to not only learn, but also grow your network. And as I mentioned, I will review anything, any assignment that I give you. Like if I'm asking you to write a blog post for SEO, I will be there hands-on with you to make sure that what you're doing is strategically making sense long-term. And we're going to work on SEO. I'm going to simplify it for you. And I'll help you implement a strategy that's going to help you get ranked on Google. And we're also going to look at um, standard operating procedures, your processes, your systems, how you can automate and simplify. We'll look at KPI, KPIs, because when I talk about a business being complicated, a lot of times, if you're not measuring what you're doing, evaluating what you're doing, and really putting that time in on the back end to know what's working, what's not, you're not going to grow. So we have a focus on that as well. When I say that this program is in-depth and customized, it really, truly is. There's a reason it's six months and every single week will be accounted for. You'll have a workbook that you'll have um, a log for your your weekly goals, any mindset challenges that come up, any of those blocks that are holding you back uh, will have... um, you know, goal strategizing and how to set those goals and how to make them reasonable so that you don't achieve burnout. And you'll also, as founding members, have a lifetime access to our off social online community, as well as get a guest spot on the Robin Graham show, which is a top 1% globally ranked show. So great visibility for your brand, as well as a good experience relaxed experience to have that podcast guesting experience and in a non-threatening, non-intimidating, I should say, environment. So the special pricing for founding members is $7,500 for the six-month program. And that includes, like I said, the weekly group, the monthly one-to-one, as well as my eyes on and in your business during that six-month time period. 
The bonus to having me in your business for six months is my brain is creative, strategic, as well as techie. So we get down to the nitty gritty and really solve a lot of the the problems or the challenges or the things that could be holding you back. And then I want to emphasize that if growing, oh, I don't think I said the price. So the founding member price is $7,500. There is a payment plan. The payment plan is a little bit more, but the founding members do have a discounted rate. So I want to emphasize that because it, to me, that's important. I want you to feel so positive that this is worth every penny that you're going to invest in it. And I don't want you to feel stretched. So this is an opportunity to get in at the founding member level and have additional benefits as well as a lower price point. If growing your business with simplicity, ease, and grace and becoming the authority in your niche, being visible online to be able to be found anywhere at any time sounds good to you, let's just chat. You don't have to buy today. You can obviously look at the page, the website page to gather more information it's very simple, successwithoutsocialmastermind.com. But let's get on a call. I'll answer the questions you have. We can look at maybe what's holding you back. And if nothing else during that conversation, you're going to have some takeaways that you can then go forth and start transforming your business. But to book a discovery call, it's so simple. It's just bit.ly.com forward slash discover with Robin. And you can book a call with me and we will have that conversation and get to know each other to make sure we're a good fit before you make any commitments. And I also want to add that the application process or the time to book those calls ends on October 5th. So be sure to take that initiative and book that call or apply soon. All right. Thank you so much. This opportunity that I have just shared with you is an opportunity to stop spinning in circles, to stop investing in multiple coaches, multiple courses, multiple programs. This is one stop coaching with proven results. And I hope to see you inside the program.